Jenna. I'm Rezzy. We are from Class 5B. Today we would like to share a book, Finding Nemo. Marlin was a clownfish, but that didn't mean he had to find life funny. Marlin had lost his wife and more than 400 eggs in a rootless barracuda attack. Only one baby had survived, but he had one damaged fin. I promise I will never let anything happen to you, Nemo, Marlin said. After Nemo was born, Marlin wouldn't let him out of his sight. He was so protective, he didn't even let Nemo go in beyond the sea and home home. But on his first day of school, Nemo was ready for an adventure. Wake up, wake up, Nemo exclaimed, swimming circles around his sleeping father. Before they set off for school, Marlin asked sternly, What's the one thing we have to remember about this ocean? It's not safe, Nemo said, as they swam to school together. Marlin kept reminding Nemo to go to Spain. Nemo made some new friends from his class, and they sneaked off together, daring each other to swim out into the open sea. Nemo was nervous and didn't venture very far, but when it was when it was too far from for, for Martin, who was hovering nearby, you think you can do this at things, but you just can't. Marlin shouted. Nemo wanted to prove his dad wrong. He swam to a boat and hit with his fin. Suddenly, a diver appeared. Daddy, help me! Nemo screamed as he caught the sight of his reflection in the driver's mark. Mask. Mark. In flash, the driver had scooped Nemo up in a net. Marlin raced into the surface as the dri drivers sped away. There was nothing he could do to save his precious son. Their boat sped off so quickly that the driver's mask fell off. Marlin rushed to a busy under-eater road to get help. Has anybody seen a boat? He cried. A beautiful blue town named Dory told him that she had seen a boat. Follow me, she said. However, Dory had a very bad memory. One minute later, she couldn't even remember why Marlin was following her. Will you quit it? She asked, confused. Marlin turned, in, turned to swim away, only, only to come face to face with... A huge shark! He was cold, bruised, and he was trying to be a vegetarian. His best friend Dory and Marlin and wanted them to meet his like-minded bodies. So they could prove their motto, fish are friend, not food. Thank you for your listening. Oh, big sisters, Rassi, Jenna. Oh, I like the story of finding Nemo. Where can I find? You can find in the school library. Uh, is that fiction book? Yes, it is. Ooh. Oh, you guys are holding Pixar's cartoons books. That is toy. Toy Story and Oh how about this? How about this? Uh Monster Games. Ah now mm, I see an other P2 student. Prisana is coming. She is going to read this story for me. Oh, let's hear. Hello, I'm Prasana. I come from class 2A. Today, I would like to share a book, Monster Games. It's time for the scare games. Mike and Suli join the OK team. Don is the leader. He wears glasses. Squishy is shy. He has five eyes. Terry and Terry are brothers. They have one body and two heads. Art is fuzzy and purple. Five other teams are in the scare game too. The Roars are a mean team. The Peens wear pink and purple. The Jocks play football. The Eeks like to work out. The His team is tough. It's time for the first game. The teams line up. Thank you for your listening. Oh, thank you, Prasanna. Your reading is so well. Thank you.
Mm, which book you choose today? Peppa plays football. Oh, really? Let me see. Oh, Peppa Pig. Mm, this is not from Pixar. Do you know that? Yes. Mm, can you help me? Yeah. We introduced Pixar's books. Do you know about this? Cars, Monster University, and Finding Nemo. If you are interested, please come to library. There are also bilingual books too. You may find under the library rules. Oh, let's go to library now. Okay, bye bye. Bye.